Afternoon everybody, Joe Torres here with Binder TV and I am here with a very nice yellow Scout 79 uh, with an SS2 grill uh, at our inaugural Southeast Michigan event. Um, I'm here with the owner and we'd like to talk to him and get a little bit more history with the vehicle and get a little bit more history about himself. So why don't you share your news? Dennis Burns, uh, live between Laporte and South Bend, Indiana. Uh, I've had this Scout this is the third time I've owned it. Actually, I had to sell it. I had to sell it twice, but I ended up getting it back, and it won't go anywhere again. Uh, originally had a 304 automatic. Now it's got a 345, uh, two barrel, which obviously isn't a 79. It's an older engine out of a 75 Scout II. Yeah. So the the 79 345s all had thermo quads. Right. And uh, yeah, so the two barrel. For this sure. is a, this is a two barrel out of a 75. Um, otherwise, it's pretty standard. Um, this was actually owned by Joe and Linda from Scouts West. Oh, originally, oh, it was their daughter's Patero. Scout. So it used to belong to Space. She'll get it. Okay. <laughs> well, it it was their daughter's Scout, and it was white when I got it. But originally, I believe it started out as a gray rally. Um, I replaced the front seats. Uh, it's got Nissan bucket seats in the front. It's got had factory air. Um, I put a stand-in compressor on it and got the factory air. I did all new hoses and got the factory air working. Um, stand-in compressor, that's a, a rotary style compressor as opposed to the original Yorks that kind of vibrated and weren't very efficient. So you right. actually did a you happy with the results? Yeah, yeah I am. Uh, I had to add a little Freon before the trip and I didn't quite add enough of it. So it was a little warm at times coming up here, but not too bad. Um, it's got dual exhausts, pretty stock other than the bumpers and stuff like that. It's got a small lift on it, 16 inch tires and wheels. It's actually in between stages right now. It's going to be getting a half cab and it's going to be my wife's truck. I just picked up a 73 three quarter ton camper special and the plan is that the camper special is going to tow this when we go to shows so we can both ride together instead of having to ride in separate vehicles that's a that's a nice nice compromise for the two of you um you did have a little bit of a mishap that you shared with some of the yes Alaska i certainly recently. did why don't you tell us tell was, us a little bit about that i was it looks better now than it did i was backing i store it in a storage container for the winter because it's about as bomb proof as you can get and my wife was going to come out and watch me out and of course I knew better I could get it I could back it out without a problem and I was wrong I got cocked a little bit just got into the side of the storage container it looks much better than it did originally uh, because it was had a lot of paint transfer from the inside of the storage container the gray like right there but it does have a couple dings. I really think a lot of it, a good paintless dent removal guy can get a lot of it out. 90% I imagine. Yeah, and I don't know. I'm going to have to see if I can get somebody to spot that. And yeah, it's, a, it's unfortunate that these types of mishaps happen. I'm sure it will happen to me and I'm sure it's happened to John. But uh, anyway, it's a nice so, vehicle. A little background on you. You are retired law enforcement? Yes. Uh, I did 44 years altogether. Congratulations and thank, thank, thank you for your service. We back the blue. And I know that. You guys need it now more than ever. Absolutely. That's absolutely right. And I was absolutely happy to get out when I was able to get out. Yeah. Um, I still work security uh, for, a, for the federal government at a federal courthouse, but it's not nearly the same thing. Uh, but yeah, I did 44 years. Well, thank you for your service. And that is? Also, thank you for bringing the vehicle. How long did it take you to get here? It was a little over three hours. A little over three hours. So this you might be the longest journey. Other than John, the, uh, probably. John, yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. much thank you for coming, and uh, we really appreciate having the vehicle here. Thank you. Take care now.